Well, good morning, everybody. My name is Johnny Jetrod. I'm reporting to you this morning from FEMA Region 6, and we're going to be covering a little bit about the mainstream media today. We're going to talk about why they're doing what they're doing and how they're selling you this propaganda of the Russian influence and everything that happens and the chaos in the White House. Chaos, right? Okay, so they're using all these catchphrases to make it sound like everything that's happening is just such a bad, bad deal for Donald Trump. They're trying to make him seem so Ill illegitimate that, uh, that you've even got Democrats up there trying to call for his impeachment. But we're going to be talking about that. And we're going to go to a couple of news clips, or at least one, in this short video. So just hang on to your seat. Uh, let me just show you this little clip, okay? Hang on, I'll be right back. Democrat Dianne Feinstein and Republican Chuck Grassley are now saying they want to hear directly from the FBI director and from the Attorney General about General Flynn's contacts with the Russians. Meanwhile, President Trump is lashing out at the intelligence agencies for leaking. Uh, I've got two tweets this morning. One saying the spotlight has finally been put on low-life leakers. They will be caught. Another saying leaking and even classify, illegal classified leaking has been a big problem for years in Washington. Amy? All right, John. Information from President Trump to avoid leaks. One official calls that claim baseless. Well, President Trump's nominee to run the White House Budget Office is expected to be confirmed today with only one Republican senator voting no. Meanwhile, the search is on for a new Labor Secretary nominee after Andrew Puster withdrew his name following scrutiny of his personal life and business record. He vowed revenge. He said, I will see you in the gutter. This will never be over. You will pay for this. Puster has always denied those allegations made in the tape. They came during a heated divorce, and his ex-wife has since recanted. Now, as for that Flynn controversy, the president is again today blaming leaks, tweeting, leaking and even illegal classified leaking has been a big problem in Washington for years. Failing New York Times and others must apologize. And so it continues. Matt. All right, Kristen Welker. Kristen, thanks very much. I want to give you the latest now on the Orville Dam crisis. Okay, you got to see what's happening? It's the Russian connection. It's all tabloid news. All they're doing is, is continuing to show negative negative stuff about Donald Trump. It's, it's a campaign of division. It's a campaign of compromise. It's a campaign of subversion. And all it is is distracting you from the real agenda and we're going to talk about that real agenda later on today in another report that I got coming up. It'll be posted on All Americans First News and Johnny Gerard the Patriot, both my YouTube channels. So uh, here's the thing. What they're doing is sowing the seeds of division. They're twisting the mentality of the average everyday American into believing that the Russians have so much influence over our government and that they're tied into this uh, connection with the Russians that, that our government has been infiltrated by the Russians. And they're, they're even saying that they're spies. They're even insinuating that there are spies within our intelligence community who are Russian spies leaking information. And, and then they're saying that Donald Trump is calling it illegal, but the media is twisting it around trying to make it seem like the Russians are doing it. This, this is a twisted mentality of the, of the mainstream media. It's very irresponsible. It's unfounded. It's not been proven. It's twisted, and it's showing you, the American public, just how crazy propaganda they can give you. I'm calling it tabloid news. That's what's happening lately. So we're gonna talk about why this is happening later on today. I want you to stay tuned to my channel. I'll go ahead and give you a full report later on today. My name is Johnny Jetrod. If you like what we're doing here, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and tap that bell for future notifications for more awesome videos. Remember to tap that bell and make a comment in the section below. Thank you, America.